Hey everyone, so here I'm doing a question from factorization chapter class 8 and here we have a two questions to solve. So the first one here is, factors are following p square q minus p r square minus p q plus r square. So let me start with the first question. Okay, I'm going to write the expression first. So we have a p square q minus p r square minus p q and then plus r square. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring the terms together, like I'm going to combine them. Combine in sense like I'm going to group them. Now why I'm doing this? So that I can take something common from it. So I'm going to rearrange it. I'm going to rearrange the terms here. Now which one? So here I'll take p square q and I'll take here p q minus p q. So that I can take p q and p q common. Yeah. And I'm going to group minus p r square and r square. Alright, so I'm going to just rearrange the terms here. So this is equal to p square q minus p q. Okay, I'm just showing with the brackets here. Or you can just ignore the brackets, that's fine. And then minus p r square. Okay, I'm writing this term here. And then plus r square. So I have just rearranged the terms so that I can take something common. Now if you see here, I have a p square q minus p q p square means I have a 2p here okay or else to show you let me write down like this p into p okay and then into q minus p into q okay just to show you I'm just writing like this and then minus we have p r square it's like p into r into r plus r square r into r you don't have to expand them I'm going to just show you how we are taking a common uh, variables here that's it all right now if you see the first two first two terms if you observe I can take one p and one q out from this two okay I'm talking about this two only p and q is here p and q is here right I can pull out this p q outside be this p q is common in this uh, two terms so this will become if I take p q outside so from this part I'm left with this Q. So I'll get here, sorry, not Q, it's P. One P will be left. So I'll get P minus is their sign. So write down this minus sign. Here, if I take PQ out, nothing is left. It means one will be present there. Okay. It is not a zero. If you write zero here, the entire term will become zero. So it will be one. All right. Then, so I got, I have taken PQ outside, I get P minus 1. Now, let us look at the next two terms. So, if you see, I have a R square, R into R and here also R into R. So, I can take R into R outside or I can say R square outside. So, it will be minus R square I am taking outside. See, I have taken minus R square outside as a common. If I take minus outside, what is left here? Only P. Now, here comes very important step. I cannot write here plus. Now, what if I write plus, what happens is minus r into plus will be minus. This sign will become minus. But in actual, I have a plus sign here. Yes, if I open the bracket, I should get plus sign. So, here what I'm going to do, I'm going to write down minus sign here. I hope you understood why I'm writing minus sign here. Okay, p minus r square, I have taken common outside so nothing is left means one will be present i hope you understood why i have written minus sign see minus into minus will be plus okay i have a plus sign here that's why i've written minus what happens is if i write down here plus minus into plus will be minus but that will be completely wrong right because here i have a plus sign that is the reason i have written minus sign here okay you have to make sure that your signs are correct let me just write down here so this will be minus and here we have a plus okay so we have reached this step again if you observe carefully we have p minus 1 and here p minus 1 present on both the sides so i can take p minus 1 again common so this will be equal to if i take p minus 1 outside what will be left here pq will be left yes so i'll get into pq on other side i have a r square so I, uh, also the sign is minus so minus r square that's it so the answer is p minus 1 into pq minus r square so this is the first question i hope it's clear now we'll go move on to the next one
Now, the second one is a bit easy because we have all positive signs. Okay. So, in the second one, let me write the expression x square plus yz plus xy plus xz. Again, I have to uh, rearrange the terms here so I can take something common. So, I'm going to do one thing. I'll take this x square, I'll take xy. I can take x common here. So, let me write down here x square plus xy. I'm going to change the color plus this yz. Okay, yz plus xz. So, from yz, xz, I can take z common. So, I'm writing with different colors so it will be easy for you to understand. Now, in the first one, if you observe, I can take, like in the previous one I have expanded, I will not going to expand in this case. We have a x square, it means we have a 2x here, okay, x into x. And I have a xy. So, I can take 1x common, only 1x I can take, okay, here I don't have a 2x, I have only one single x. So, x into, so from here, from this, if I take 1x outside, I am left with one more x, okay. So, that x I am going to write down here. I have taken x outside, one x is left. Then plus, so here I have taken this x common outside, I am left with this y. So, plus y, okay. The next one, plus. Here we have yz plus xz. I am going to take z outside, z as a common. So, if I take z outside, y is left. So, y plus here x is left, okay. Now, again you look here. We have x plus y y plus x or x plus y it's it remains same okay you can write x plus y or y plus x so i can take this x plus y again common as uh, outside i can pull this common term outside so i'll get x plus y into so i've taken this x plus y outside what is left x is left x and here i have a plus and if i take this x plus y outside z is left that's it so, the answer is x plus y into x plus z. So, this is a factorization. So, I hope it's clear. Now, in case you have any question or doubt, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.